Canonical tags can get into a bit of a complex topic, but let's start at the beginning. What exactly is a, a canonical tag? So a canonical tag is an HTML element that you include at the top of a page when you have two or more pages that are either completely identical or very similar in nature, and you want search engines to only index one version of the page. So the canonical URL would be the one that you want indexed. Uh, can you give us some examples of sort of how, where that would be used, similar pages, in, sure. in what way? So in some cases, you might launch two versions of a page that only have one small detail that's different, like a right. price, if you're doing an A-B test, or maybe you have okay. on an e-commerce site, you might have the same product that's available in a couple of different colors. So in those cases, you would use the canonical tag pointing back to that one version that you want indexed. Right. Um, so that's when you would use it. Is there other cases when you definitely do not want to use it? So if the pages are not considered similar enough in nature and you use a canonical tag, in some cases they might be ignored. So search engines would actually say, these two versions of the page are actually distinct pages and we're going to index both of them separately. So you should only use a canonical tag when the pages are very, very similar or duplicate. Okay, are the cases then when a search engine, search engine can make its own decision regardless of what you're putting in the canonical? Yeah, so in some cases, Google and the other search engines might ignore your canonical tags if it feels like the content is too dissimilar from page to page. So in those cases, you would want to basically go into Search Console and you can see exactly which pages Google is saying, you know, we you've chosen one canonical, but we've selected another page as canonical. Right. Is there a, a way to find out which one Google is using? Yeah, so you can use Google Search Console's URL inspection report and check individual URLs and it'll tell you which one's being treated as canonical. And there's also, within the coverage report, a whole section dedicated to pages where Google selected another page as the canonical. Great, that's a good summary. Thank you very much.